I wasn't going to do a video today, but uh, I got an email from uh, one of my uh, peeps to start an eBay business. Whew. Just uh, a sad. Got a bunch of stuff, listed it, sold, sold $3,000 worth of stuff in a week. You know what happened. Money sitting in the PayPal account. Tried to transfer it 12 hours after the transfer. And just for those that know, it does not take three to four days for your money to transfer. PayPal puts that in a queue where they can snatch it back. They actually, it's not even in a transfer state because the thing is, if it was truly transferred, they couldn't snatch it back. It only takes 12 hours to transfer money, if that long. So don't, you know, three to four days, they're bullshitting you. But 12 hours later, they got that email. Your account has been limited until you send in this and you send in that and you send in this and you send in that. Da, 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 da. Then um, I've been reading for the last few days about the spring seller update. Now remember, I really wasn't planning on doing any more eBay videos because I don't sell on eBay. My official position on eBay is fuck eBay. And it's been that way for a long time. I even did a video, eBay the rattlesnake in your business. For five years I've been telling you, watch it because the thing is, eBay is not your business. It's their business. And there's this all this stuff that's going on. Carl Icon's going there there's a lot of problems with eBay. And 2009 when I was in groups and saying stuff, people was like, well, you did something. Well, there's no reason that PayPal would just I went through what many of you are going through a long time ago. People are being rifted. That's reduction in force. People are, if you're eBay top heavy, you are a fool. Let me say that once again. eBay top heavy, meaning that 50% or more of your income comes from eBay, you are a fool. Because if you haven't noticed, they're getting rid of people. If you haven't noticed, it's becoming harder and harder to make less money on the platform. Now, I know someone's going to come in and say, look, you know, I've been on eBay four years, never had a problem, just a few cranky customers. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> because what eBay is doing is a calculated move. They're working on some stuff. In this video, but I didn't make the time to do it because the eBay valet program is rife with issues. I think that's their intention to get some type of fulfillment by eBay, but the brain trust at the top is fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid because I conscientiously am an advocate against people using eBay. Like if you use it if you want to, you're like, hey, you know, I put stuff up there and make money. It's like, okay. I'm going to just tell you, the first time you get that limitation email and you need that money and you can't get it and they make you jump through the hoops. Now, I'll give you some good news. The longest they can hold your money is 180 days. And if you go ahead and uh, file a court, you know, go to court and file against them, uh, they'll probably release your money immediately because a lot of people are doing that. Oh, wait, if you sign up for PayPal, you can't sue them. You must go through arbitration. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, these are my thoughts. These are my thoughts. And this is coming from someone who used to love eBay, who was there from the early years, who was at eBay Lives, eBay conventions, just loved it. It was just like eBay, eBay, eBay. I was an eBay app. And my, my business partner said, there's something wrong with you. It's like, if you have a girlfriend, I think, you know, eBay be your bitch. I learned the hard way. Now, these new things that are happening. Now, I want you to understand, if you know how to read quarter reports and look at the companies. Uh, profit and loss statements eBay's not making any money it's PayPal if you take PayPal away from eBay it will be exposed for the fraud of a company that it is PayPal makes the money eBay doesn't make the money PayPal does so it's going to be really interesting what goes on as this goes forward but I'm telling you if you're a new eBay seller and you're just drinking the Kool-Aid just just say I'm just warning you. I've warned a lot of people. I've had people in groups just just pretty much say, you know what? Yeah, that's your experience. And I'm just going to go with my experience. Translation, I think you're fucking lying. 
And some of those people who said those harsh things to me years ago got fucked last year. <laughs> ah, told your ass. Not just one or two, not three or four, several, several. eBay doesn't care if you've been there since 1997. They don't give a shit. You are a little inconsequential piece of meat to be knocked on or off the conveyor belt. They don't care. There's no family there. And I'm just saying this, and I'm putting this video up because if you are an online seller and you are thinking it will not happen to you, you're thinking, oh no, nothing's gonna happen to me. I do everything in my DS. The game has been stacked against you before you even signed up. It wasn't designed for you to win. I'll tell you. 2002, 2003, it was nothing for me to clear two or three grand a week on eBay. Nothing. It was easy. It was just like throwing cash in the basket. It was that easy. That's how wide open the site was. There was little restrictions. As long as you didn't do anything stupid, you were good to go. Then it got crazy. Now, what's really funny about eBay is the scammers still rule supreme. The people that they really should be working on, they have, I mean... Someone scams you, right? They close their eBay account. They close their PayPal account. They go open up another one new eBay account and do it all over again. They can do that shit 10, 15, 20, 30 times a year. It is that easy for an end user, customer, buyer to screw a seller. It is too easy. Because they're just like, well, you know, we, we want them to come. And so if you get screwed, um, people have quit eBay. You know, eBay didn't quit them. They quit because they just got frustrated. Uh, someone that used to make a lot of videos, I'm not saying his name. Actually, I will say his name because he did put in the video that he shut his eBay stuff down because eBay was the bottom nook in his video. That was Resale Renegade. I haven't really seen him around too much because he's probably enjoying life because he got rid of a huge stressful part of his life. Because the thing is, many people are like, why aren't you doing storage auctions? Why aren't you being a reseller? I found a better way. I did resale. It was awesome. And I'm just going to say it. When I was doing resale, it was a totally different world in the day. I mean, I see people in hangouts. I see podcasts, recasts, people talking about eBay. And I just sit there and giggle my ass off. I was making way more money, paying less fees, had less drama. You are playing with a pit viper if you continue to mess with eBay and PayPal. Now, I will say... People who use PayPal and it doesn't go through eBay for some reason, it doesn't seem to be the problems that it was with other stuff. But, who, you know, I think that could be because there's so much competition. And also, eBay stacked. You can't use whoever you want to be your payment. I think you use ProPay. I think there's one, a few people, or maybe authorized net, which means you got to set that stuff up and get a merchant account. And then, they have uh, indoctrinated the PayPal. I have so many people just, you know, if you want to buy one of my products, I don't take PayPal. Uh, the merchant accounts I use, I have one that takes PayPal. I don't use it that much. So <clears throat> uh, Gumroad doesn't take PayPal for, you know, because they did their due diligence and they realized it wasn't a good move. They didn't want to mess with them. Company didn't want to mess with them. A lot of people are feeling that way. So for you, the new seller, or you're you know new, you're one to two, three years, you're new. If you're one, two, three years, you're new. If you know, uh, this is my advice to you: start decelerating your listing activity on eBay, and start looking for other platforms to sell your stuff. Ideally, one that you own and control, or one that gives you a great deal of control. Because many people try to compare YouTube to eBay. That's like comparing, you know, Princess Leia to the ugly troll that crawled up from the tar pit. There's no distinct similarities to the two because I love YouTube. You know, a lot of people get frustrated with YouTube. YouTube gives you an incredible amount of license to say whatever the fuck you want to say. As long as you're not like attacking people or doing hate speech and even to a degree that's allowed. You can't do that shit on eBay. You, I pretty much, as long as I don't do any copyright infringement or anything like that, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. That's it. As long as I don't infringe on anyone else's rights or, you know, do anything really crazy or hateful, 
it's wide the fuck open. That's not eBay. It's not eBay. But um, once again, you know, if you're on eBay, decelerate what you're doing. If you have a bunch of eBay um, inventory, get rid of that shit soon. Get rid of it. Bail on it. Because this is what I've noticed. And I did the video. Uh, August. eBay's culling sellers. And what did I say? What did I say in that video? I said it was going to get worse. I said in that video in August. They were going to cut more sellers. They did. I said it was going to get much, much worse. Here we are. And guess what? It's going to get worse. Because eBay, the company, doesn't have to make money because they own PayPal, the money bitch. They, they can do whatever. They can dismantle that company. That company can make absolutely no money, but PayPal's earnings are going to prop it up and make it look all shiny and brand new. That is the problem. That's where I agree with Carl. If eBay had to act like a company that had to produce revenue, many of the bonehead decisions that they make would not happen. Uh, I was helping someone on there because, like I said, I don't sell on eBay, but I sold a lot of shit on eBay. And it was going through it. They've completely changed the, the dashboard stuff. It, it's like to end an auction. It used to be like you just click a button in the auction. Now you got to do some stuff, copy number, go to in all kinds of complicated stuff that just aren't that's created by people who are not being impacted by those decisions. Is someone spinning around in his Aeron chair and her in the uh, headquarters is like, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah, that sounds good. You think so, Bob? Yes, Bob, I think so. What about you, Bill? Bill, sounds good to me. Let's go play golf. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Because any of the decisions that you see, if you're a seller, you're like, what? And I just, I've been sitting back. Like I said, I was like, not going to do another video. But too many people are getting sucked in to the Kool-Aid because for a long, long time, it was great. It, it was great. I'm, I'm not, I mean, there was times I would go to a storage auction and spend all of the money in my pocket. Actually, I think I had a Blackberry because I got the Blackberry as soon as was possible. I remember I was at an auction. I spent my last money. Then I looked at my Blackberry and I had like 10 sales, like back to back that morning of all stuff. And it was 3,800 bucks in my PayPal account. And I had the PayPal debit card and I kept buying. It was beautiful. It was awesome. It was like incredible and they destroyed it i think this latest move is a real nail because all of the stuff you know it's like they cutting people other folks are like yeah more people gone more folks for me to sell to now this new thing that they're doing you know it's talking about for christmas it's gonna go it's gonna be a long-term uh adjustment it ain't just for christmas once that thing goes on it's gonna like they're gonna keep doing it and you're gonna keep getting hammered because I've noticed the difference, and it's weird. Like I said, I've dealt with PayPal. I've dealt with a lot of merchant accounts. There is, and if you're a PayPal lover and user, be offended. I don't give a fuck. There is something wrong with some PayPal buyers. They act like if they have to buy something other than, you know, pull out their credit card and actually manually enter their shit like the rest of us, that there's something wrong with the universe. There's something wrong with those people. Like one guy emailed me eight times, like, "Well, I only use PayPal. Will you take PayPal? I'm really trying to give you some money." And it's for like a ten dollar book, and I was just like, "You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me!" And I'm just saying, I don't take PayPal. I'm not gonna take PayPal. I have like, you know, be honest with you, I got like probably four or five PayPal accounts. I, yeah, I could take it if I want to. Yeah, yeah, like five. Don't get no. I ain't fucking with it because it is just every time after the, the first two big holes I had. Every time I saw PayPal, it was just like if you were in an accident and every time like you hear a tire screeching, your heart starts ringing. It was just, I just couldn't live like that. I couldn't live like that. It's just like, well, you know, the business is going good. Yeah, six months doesn't happen. Just every day waiting for some messed up to happen. That's what I was doing. You know, That's one of the main reasons then in 2006, my partner and I, we went ahead and created our own fulfillment. We went out and got four eBay sellers to sell stuff. I would take the truck, drop stuff off to them. Because we just didn't want to deal. It's just, it's so fucking stressful. This was 2006. This is 2014. We were stressed out. Morsley, more so because we're a high volume seller. And as your volume goes up, so does your incidents, your chargebacks. Everything goes up. And we just had a meeting one night. Because we were like, had all this shit to list. And neither one of us wanted to do it. 
we didn't we we had hired people we trained them we didn't want to go through that and i said well i've been tracking some people they're local we can just uh, take a few chances take them some stuff and see if they sell it and just create a contract and you know she'd been resistant to it and she's like okay and she said i'm going out to dinner with my friends deuces <laughs> i mean it, it's just you, t you get to that point and another part is and I want to tell you something. You can start your own business apart from PayPal and make more money. You can do it because I am a proponent of Amazon FBA. I love it. My expectations are five, seven years before what's happening with eBay is going to happen there because you, you've got you've got not you got several you have several events. First of all, we live in a very weird economy right now. It's a uh, extremely weird in terms of there's people who are doing amazingly well and there are people who are sucking ass what's happened is you're going to have a lot of people who are currently who have jobs who are doing well right now two three years they're going to get pushed out of that job and they're going to be out here in the marketplace looking for sources of income and they're going to jump on amazon fba they're going to jump on ebay they're going to jump on all this stuff so in my mind because i actually have a bet going on with some good friends that I think in five to seven years it's going to be extremely hard to get a great deal in a thrift store because they're going to start selling the stuff direct themselves. That's just my opinion. I may be wrong and I may have to pay out a lot of money. So be it. Then the other part of that is, and the reason I created my course, 30 days to $2,500, is I just see what's happening with the economy because, you know, people are just kind of like seduced by the stock market. Stock market is not the economy. The stock market is part of the economy. In 1950, there was one city, not a state, but one city that was the second largest economy in the United States after the United States, and that was Detroit. Why? Because they made shit. I've talked about this before. Producer or consumer? Which one do you want to be? You want to be a producer. Even in times of poverty, even in times of war, if you're a producer, you are ahead of the game. And because so many people are consumers now and they are just in a service mode, they don't know how to produce. They don't know how to start. That's why I started this because, you know, I have like a six year plan with 30 days to 2500 bucks because I it's just like when I wrote my storage auction book. I just see the need just already there, which is substantial. I see it even growing. Because there's so many people who, due to, in my opinion, the poor education system we have, which is this outcome-based shit, versus you do it or, you know, if you fail, then you, you have to deal with failure. You know, we're trying to protect these kids from failure, and actually we're failing them, and they're going to fail even worse because they don't know how to deal with it. But with, with what's going on, I just see a lot of opportunity for me, but a lot of bad stuff for other people because... A lot of folks don't know how to make money. They may be very smart. They may have a high GPA. They don't know how to make money. They don't know how to create a business. They don't know how to talk to customers. Those are very, very valuable skill sets to have in any time period of mankind. That first caveman that realized that he can pimp out the other force, like, hey, you, Ugor, you go woo the heavy rocks, and I'll be over here in management. You get the rocks, yeah, and I'll have them deliver it, and he got paid, and he didn't do anything. That first caveman that figured that became the rich caveman, and he had all the cave bitches. He was living large because a lot of people don't understand and they haven't really figured out the game, which is real simple. And I'm going to give it to you. The more people that you serve is the more money that you make. If you have a job and you only serve a few people, you're not going to make that much money. That's the game. So if you have a job, you are inherently constrained from serving a lot of people. If you have a business, you have the freedom of your own imagination, ability, and time to serve a lot of people. That's why, in my opinion, because many people disagree with me, I think it's more risky to have a job now than it is to have your own business. That's just my opinion, because I'm, I'm living that. <laughs> I'm living that. If I didn't have my own business, i just imagine I'd be screwed. Screwed. It is, having my own business has saved me so many times, it's freaking ridiculous. Uh, I think this is the death of eBay. Uh, will it go away? It'll be like MySpace. MySpace hasn't gone away, but when you say MySpace, people giggle. I, three, four years, they'll be there. Uh, people will still be buying, but it's and also Amazon. Do not fall in love with Amazon. Amazon is great right now. Five, seven years, 
you, you're going to see some of these things that are happening. And like I said, Amazon is great for me right now. Amazon is a recommend. I highly rate it. I'm uh, teaching my daughter how to do it. It's great. But as I put in 30 days, $2,500, it's a short-term hustle. Short-term being a few weeks to a few years. Because once you get to a certain income level, you're going to start looking around a little differently. You're going to start evaluating differently because you're a different person with a different level of means. So understand, like, you know, get away from eBay. I'm actually telling you, shut your shit down. Get you another form of income. Now, if you need the money, you have to do it. I totally understand. But you should craft a plan tonight to leave eBay. Because this is what's going to happen. You're going to limp along. You're going to limp along. You're going to limp along. Next thing you know, it's going to be October. It's going to be November. Sales going to go up. And you're going to be trapped like a rat. If you spend the time right now working on your own business, you could be in a much better position. Because what's happening with eBay is just deplorable. They need that money. They are scrambling. They are scrambling. And I know of three people, because I've actually friends, personal friends I've talked to about eBay, and I know four that have been screwed. The first, first, first few weeks have been screwed. First few weeks. That's how strong the scammers are. So just take heart. Put yourself together. Uh, first thing you should do. It's a free audiobook. It's below under the box. There's everything I offer. But just go to the free audiobook, The Hustler Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Get that book, get your mind right. And uh, start moving away from that platform because it is going to strangle you at some point. You wake I'm telling you, it is one of the coldest moments in life to wake up, go to your emails, you've been limited, you log in, and you know, the first time it's 32 grand. You're holding fucking year second time I got my money quicker because I knew what to do but it's just it's heart stopping it's just like do you feel helpless you feel powerless it's just like what the fuck and there's no one can help you and you talk all those drones on PayPal and they just keep repeating stuff at it's like you're not helping me and that's why the reason and you know I've taken this stance uh, fuck PayPal fuck eBay not using them won't use them you know if you are using them good luck to you may the force be with you i hope you don't get screwed but what's high intellect is telling me at some point you will be i ain't fucking with them and the thing is it forced me to increase our business in other ways you know there is nothing like loss disaster chaos to bring out your inner genius and just, I'm just telling you because I'm going back in time when I was going through what many of you are going through. It is, it is like, you know, these are rough times for certain people. They're just, that's just the reality. And if you are waiting on some money and you dealing with them, every week's a crapshoot. <laughs> it's a crapshoot. Every week's a crapshoot. So. My recommend to you, if you're in the G-verse and you're listening to me and you've seen what I put out over the years, leave eBay and PayPal the fuck alone now. Start snipping, moving it now. Work your way out of that shit now. Because when you really need them, because this is, this is another prediction. Before we get to the holiday season where all this stuff supposedly kicks in, there's going to be more changes that are going to piss you off even before it gets there. Why have your heart broken when you have a chance to uh, not experience that? It is one of the saddest things I've ever seen that something that started off with so much promise, so much integrity, just ended up being the shit that it is right now. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I understand. I actually thought that I was going to... I'll give you my story. eBay was going so well at one time that... I was talking to commercial brokers and there was this, if you remember Ingalls, if you're in Georgia, they've been closed and they had locations. I was looking at a closed Ingalls, the building had been closed for years. And I knew that if I could find the right person, I might be able to get in there. And the plan was to get the Ingalls, rent it, and have half as our stuff, for stuff that we brought in, and rent out the rest as a flea market. I had a written plan, was working on it. Then... A week later, got that first hole. And you know the rest of the story. I was like, oh, hell no. 
Oh, hell no. So, I, I would just highly recommend that you get away from it. Um, like I said, I've talked to a lot of people who are started eBay this year, last year, and everyone's run into some kind of issue. Everyone is running into some kind of issue. The people I know. Because the thing is, e <clears throat> you've never heard me recommend eBay. Ever. I'm like, if you got to do it, you know, it's a necessary evil, the red-headed stepchild, the devil with the pitchfork. And the devil's turned into a 80-foot dragon now with several pitchforks and a lot of fire breathing on your ass. And it's not going to get any better. And if you are what I call eBay dependent, that you're used to just putting stuff up there and not really. And don't get offended. Don't get offended. But if you're on eBay, you're not a real salesperson. You are like a farmer, a farmer or a vendor. You don't know how to hunt for business. That is going to hurt you. Learn how to hunt for business. I understand the platform is a lot of people. They come, they buy stuff. But the price that you use that platform is going up, 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 up. I was in another e -boy, uh, Facebook group and you know I thought the people who sold one-offs and vintage items or well, there's people who are selling vintage items and they're like they're getting the fuck on. They said it's becoming very hostile of people selling vintage items and they were like moving to Etsy and other places. I don't sell there. I just get stuff from the whisper rooms. But when I see this announcement and there were people in one group that were just all you know eBay, eBay, eBay. A few years ago they were like I'm going to get the fuck on now. I'm just sitting there like, uh, I have been really kind because I could have gone several places and like, I told your asses, told you this shit was coming. Saw it coming. It was written on the wall in big red leathers with hair on them. Get the fuck off eBay. Just, you know, just, just move, move on. Leave. This is the same advice because, you know, someone got mad at me because I was like, Someone uh, sent me an email and I was like, don't go to college until you know exactly what you want to do. Get yourself a job and figure out what you want to do. Do your research before you get in debt because a lot of you kids are clean. You don't have any debt. You don't have, you're clean. And I think it is just appalling for someone to be 22, 23 years old, 60, 80, 90, 150,000 dollars in debt and they're still doing the job that the guy that just graduated high school is. They're making the same money. That guy that just graduated, he's head, light years ahead of you because this student loan debt is no joke. Um, so just, uh, you know, just, just my thoughts, just a uh, death of eBay rant, uh, death of PayPal rant, and some other stuff because understand what we're in, in this new economy is so rich in opportunity it is sick but if you don't have the right mindset you don't have the right skill sets it's going to be one of the worst things in the world for you so just my thoughts to you be sure to get the uh, free audio book and there's a few more days of the free well I, I gotta think about that because uh, 30 days of 2500 dollars is just a, a stunning success it came out way better than I thought it did much much better I'm very proud of that and I'm gonna continue the group so you know right now it's $3.99 for lifetime membership I suggest you get it because if you know me and that's Ed Evans and that's some other people who've been around a long time I will raise prices in a heartbeat you know, oh shit I'll just tell you right now it's $3.99 lifetime forever and ever and that's going to be the annual fee. And then I'm going to go to 800 bucks lifetime. That would be plan. That's the plan. So if you want to learn how to start a business, any business, and see, this is the thing with 30 days to $2,500. It's not how to start a resale business. It's how to start any business. I've helped people start a hairdressing business, cookie business, a consignment shop, um, furniture. I have helped people start a lot of different businesses because certain principal businesses just don't change. But <clears throat> being a jack of all trades is very useful right now. It's, a, it's amazingly useful right now. So check that out. Look at it. And uh, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side because ain't no eBay in my fucking life. <laughs>